So a lot of people want to get into helicopters, and they pick up the helicopters, like, for example, this one, or, for example, something that looks like this, that has two blades on it like this. And a lot of people don't realize that there's a big difference between the hobby-grade quality ones and the ones you'll find at possibly a flea market, big box store, somewhere for in the range of price of 20 to 50 to $60. It's quite different from the stuff we sell in the store here. Now, here's the difference. One, you can get full parts replacement for a couple of years, if not at least a given year. So if you break any single piece on your helicopter, you don't have to throw it in the garbage. That is a difference between the hobby grade, one where you can get the parts and something you can't. And also full control. To learn how to fly remote control hobby grade helicopters, you have to start with at least a bare minimum of four channel. Four channel means this, that the helicopter on the first channel will go up and down. The second channel, even if it's two blades, will be like the back tail rotor, which will give it side to side. And in this case, with this double bladed one, this uh, top propeller spins one way and the bottom propeller spins the other way. And that's what gives it the side to side. That's the second channel. And the third channel is forwards and backwards. And the fourth channel is side to side. And the ones that are, don't have, that aren't hobby grade quality, that are three channel or three and a half channel, they do not have this side to side motion, which is very key and important to moving into a hobby grade quality helicopter. So that you do, when you do move into something like this, which is a full collective pitch helicopter with back tail rotor, just to be able to hover this helicopter will be those exact same four controls. The exact same four controls if I want to show you right here. Up and down, lifts the helicopter up and down. Side to side, makes it spin the back tail rotor, which will give you side to side like this. Forward and back, forward and back. And your side to side, your fourth channel, which is side to side. So once again, start with coaxial. This is coaxial, two blades, four channel, bare minimum. Work your way into a helicopter that's fixed pitch. Like if the blades fix on this and they don't move up and down like this, that's fixed pitch, four channel. That's an intermediate helicopter. And an advanced helicopter, which is capable of hovering upside down, is a full collective helicopter. That's the expert, which the blades go negative and positive. So when you do flip it upside down, it can go negative, suck it closer to the floor, or the opposite way and drag it away from the ground. We also want to show you one more thing with this uh, company, which is uh, the blade company, Bind and Fly. Bind and Fly means that it has everything in the box except for your transmitter. What that means is, this is your transmitter right here. If you, say, you took a helicopter that's a beginner like this, and it has a radio in the box, and you want to move to something that's more advanced, say like this one is the intermediate one we talked about, that's fixed pitch, back tail rotor, flies aggressive, faster. You're able to take that controller and bind it to this and save yourself a little bit of money. Instead of buying this model with everything in the box, it would be called Ready to Fly, RTF. Come into the store and talk to one of our knowledgeable staff that does fly planes or helicopters and they can guide you into the proper helicopter or plane even to start with. This is Alex from Big Boys with Cool Toys, Tech Tips, and Consumers Report. Look forward to seeing you in the store.